Once you start exploring DIY SEO, you pretty quickly end up in the world of domain authority. But what is domain authority and how do you figure out the domain authority score of your website? If these are the things that you're wondering, you've made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're going to dive into the world of domain authority. So I'm going to explain what it is, why it's important, and I'm going to show you two free tools that you can use to check your own website's domain authority score. All right, let's kick it into the screen share. Okay, so before we get into diving into the tools to find out your own domain authority score, let me just explain what it is really quick. So domain authority, authority is essentially how authoritative and how trustworthy your website is on the internet. And it was the SEO software company Moz who actually created like domain authority back in 2009 to help them figure out like how likely it would be for a website to show up in search rankings. So ever since 2009, the domain authority score created by Moz has kind of been a really good SEO indicator for like how likely it's going to be for you to end up on page one of search results. And so this domain authority score is essentially out of a hundred. Okay. So a hundred being like the most hands down authoritative you can possibly get. And one being not that authoritative. So depending on where you are in this like domain authority score scale could determine how easy or how hard it will be for you to rank on page one of Google for a specific keyword. So one of the biggest factors when it comes to your domain authority score is backlinks. And backlinks are essentially links from other people's website back to your website. And the reason why this plays such a role is because backlinks are essentially like word of mouth in a way that search engines and Google and like the internet can kind of follow. Because think about it, on my website, I would not be linking back or adding a link to a different website that I didn't recommend to my website visitors. And so the example that I like to give here is Oprah, Oprah Winfrey. She's pretty authoritative. And so if Oprah were to have a link on her website back to my website, Google would be like, oh, Mariah must know what she's talking about because Oprah, who's super authoritative, had a link from her website over to Mariah's website. And what this does is that this can then, I like to call it like passing some SEO link juice, like some domain authority juice from Oprah's website over to my website because somebody who's authoritative recommended me and now this kind of bumps up my authority. So now that we have kind of like a basic understanding of like kind of what domain authority is, why it's important, all of that fun stuff, let's hop over to a free tool to help you figure out what your domain authority score is. And so it would be silly for us not to use the people that created domain authority to begin with. Okay, so you can just go to moz.com. I will put the link to this free tool in the video description box below. But you can just hover over free SEO tools and then come to domain analysis. And then you're just going to pop in your domain name right here and then click check DA. So once you do that, you'll be taken to a screen that looks something like this. It might look a little different if you're watching this later on because, you know, software tools always change their interfaces. But essentially, it should look something like this. And what we want to look at is this right here. This is our domain authority score. And like I said, this number is out of 100, 100 being like top dog, most authoritative. And so some people might see the score and be like 30. That's kind of whack. And so listen, there's always room for improvement in terms of improving your domain authority score. But some of my clients are starting at a one or a two or a three because maybe they just launched their website or their domain is brand new or something like that. Or maybe they just haven't even considered getting backlinks or doing PR. PR, here's a tip, PR, like online pitching yourself to get quoted in the media, online publications and features is a great way to get some backlinks and improve the domain authority score of your website. But if you didn't know about this previously, you probably have not been focusing on it. So don't freak out about this number. It's just really good to benchmark where you're at right now. And then I will say that like this number does not always have to be super high in order for you to show up on page one of Google because like how high you need your domain authority score in order to get results 
all depends on the keyword that you're going after and your competitors. If your competitors don't have a high domain authority score, then you might not need too high of a domain authority score in order to rank above them. And Google judges a website on over 200 factors in order to consider where you're going to be on the search engine results page. Okay, so like I said, this number is just really, really good to benchmark. And I will say that like, I've only seen really huge websites have a domain authority score that's like closer to 100. And like by massive websites, I mean things like the New York Times and stuff like that. OK, so don't beat yourself up if you're feeling like your number is low. But essentially, we have your domain authority score right here. And then we have linking root domains. So this is basically like how many domain names are linking back to your website. And then we can just see helpful information like how many keywords your website is ranking for and then we have your spam score. So feel free to scroll down here and you can see more information, but essentially these are like your top pages by links. So these are the pages that are being linked to the most from the linking domain. So these are the pages on your website that have the most amount of backlinks on them. And then you'll see an overview of like the top linking domain. So just like what domain names are linking back to your website and which are helping you create your domain authority score. I'm interrupting this video really quick because I created something super awesome and I want to share it with you. So if you need help planning out your SEO keywords for your blog posts, for your product pages, for your homepage, for any page on your website, then definitely check out my SEO keyword planner. It's a five page editable workbook created in Google Sheets that will help you brainstorm, organize data, and strategize your keywords accordingly. I include tips, best practices, and examples to help you get started. Click the link in the video description below to check it out. Okay, so this is one tool. Let's hop over into another one. So the other tool that I like using to get a domain authority score is SEMrush. So SEMrush, if you've watched any of my videos, you've probably seen me use SEMrush. I love SEMrush. This is like my SEO tool of choice. You can get a free 14 day pro trial by clicking the link in the video description box below. But what I'm showing you right now, this is if you create a free account. And I will say also Moz, I think with even out creating an account, you get a to three, yep, three reports per day as of the time of this recording. Okay, but if you want to check out SEMrush, basically you can go over to domain overview and then pop your domain name right in here and then click search. And then you can see right here the domain authority score, but notice that there is a little bit of a discrepancy. Okay, so you have a domain authority of 30 on Moz and then a domain authority score of 21 on SEMrush. So these two different tools, since they are different, they calculate things differently. So they have different algorithms. So what I will say is like one's not right or wrong. Just keep in mind, if you're putting your website in and you're trying to like keep track of your domain name, make sure that you're staying consistent with the same tool. If you're using SEMrush, stick with SEMrush. If you're using Moz, stick with Moz. Okay. And also what you can do that's really helpful to see how you're kind of pairing up with people in your industry or your competitors, you can put their domain names in here too. So same thing. If you're going to compare your domain authority score to your competitors, make sure that you're sticking with one tool. Okay, so heading back to the SEMrush dashboard here, we have the domain authority score right here. You have the number of backlinks and then the number of referring domains. You can also click, this right now is set to worldwide. We can see if anything changes in terms of the different countries, so that might be helpful for you. But basically we can click on backlinks here and then we can start to see more granular information on things. So we can see the website that is linking back to our website and and what page on our website they are linking back to. Okay, so you can scroll this a little bit. I think if you're using the free version, you're gonna be capped at how much information you can see in terms of this data. But if you do snag the 14 day pro trial, I'm using the pro version here. And as you can see, I don't have any limits in terms of like how much I can see when it comes to my backlinks. And when you're looking at the data, try not to get overwhelmed by this. I love SEMrush because of how in-depth it is, but also just try to look at the things that you need to look at in order to make decisions. But 
basically when it comes to improving your domain authority score, it takes time. And so pitching yourself to the media, getting on people's podcasts, submitting your website to directories or being a part of local things, getting featured in local newspapers or anything that has an authoritative website linking back to your website can essentially improve your domain authority score. Okay. But just keep in mind that we also want to focus on quality and not just quantity. So it's not just about like, hey, how many backlinks can I get to my website? It's like, hey, do these backlinks make sense for my website? Okay, so there's a lot to keep in mind here, but hopefully me going over the domain authority score, what that means, and kind of like how to decipher a little bit of information, hopefully that gets you excited maybe, or even just allows you to have a little bit more clarity about what domain authority means. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up does go a long way and letting the YouTube algorithms know that my video is helpful and therefore, hopefully, pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you had any questions about this stuff or if you want me to dive deeper into a specific topic, definitely leave me a comment below this video. I use your comments, your questions, your suggestions to inspire new videos for the channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video and you're just getting started with DIY SEO, but you want some help navigating the process, then definitely consider downloading my free roadmap to successful SEO. The free SEO guide dives into what SEO is, why it's important, and how search engines work, along with my six-step process to improving your SEO and your rankings. And then finally, I dive into the three tasks that you can start doing today to get the results that you want from Google. If you want to go ahead and snag this for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com roadmap to download your own copy. Mm -hmm.